Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Veely Mars channel. You know where you're at. And you can find me on Facebook, too. Today, what do we have here? Some layered s'mores. Now, this is another crafty cooking kit. And I've done one before. It was the um, unicorn jello. And um, I have this one. This is the s'mores, layered s'mores. And I have another one to do. It is the celebration cake. So, um, yeah, we'll get to that one too. And there's a few more as well. I think there's about six total. Um, I have to check. But um, let's get started. This one looks really yummy. I love s'mores. So this kit has everything that you need. You get all the sides. There's your directions. You'll need a cup of milk. It includes everything else that you will need. All right, so let me just get this side there. Your ingredients. There we go. So let's get started. Let's open this up and pull everything out that we're going to need. There's our cups. How cute. Adorable. All right, so let's put this box to the side because I'm going to need the direction. So we'll put it right there so, you know, we can just all read it together. And in case I mess up, but I won't. All right, so this is our graham, graham cracker crumbles. These are our marshmallows. That is a good amount of marshmallows, honestly. And then our pudding mix. So our first step is to combine the milk and the pudding mix in a bowl and stir. It says whisk, but I'm gonna stir because that's what I have. So here's our bowl. And let's pour this in. So I tried numerous s'mores items. Um, I love the s'mores cereal and there's actually two kinds of s'more cereal and there's the one that's called s'mores and then there's one that's like by um, Honey Mate or whatnot that actually has um, the graham cracker pieces and the chocolate chips in there and they're both really good. Alright so our packet is empty throw that in there all right and now we need our cup of milk one cup of milk all right here's my cup of milk but I'm gonna pour it back here all right just there Right. Looks not very good, but we are going to change that. All right, let me put this measuring cup down. All right. Mix and mix and mix and mix. Okay. So I mix it up a bit more. Um, you're going to want to whisk it. You can mix it, but it probably, I could see where the whisk would come in handy. I had to do it very slow and there we go. Get most of the big chunks out. So that's good until it's smooth and pudding begins to thicken. So... Not very thick right now, but we are also going to throw it in the fridge, it says. After we fill it up, we're going to put the cups in the fridge for about five minutes to chill. So 
try to focus. There we go. <laughs> Five minutes to chill. So, um, we're just going to put this in the cup now. It's thickening, thickening up, thickening up pretty good. <laughs> so, um, it says to fill each cup about one third full. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, so, ooh, I wonder, do we toast the marshmallows? No, it doesn't say anything about toasting marshmallows. But, um, I do like, um, when I toast my marshmallows, and I'd like you guys to go in the comment section and, um, while I'm filling these cups a third of the way, so I'll put it about, at about here. So, um, I want to know how you like your marshmallows on your s'mores. Um, some people, you know, have like a little brown to it, you know, a little smidge in there. Um, and some people like it to look like charcoal. Um, I'm one of those almost charcoal people. Almost. Um... You know, if you turn it and you do it right, then I like the big thing for me is the um, the inside of the marshmallow to be soft, melty, smelty, <laughs> like it to be smelty. All right. That's good. Let's keep it going. It smells really good. I really hope this tastes good because the chocolate smells so rich and it smells delicious. So we're on our last pill, um, pudding cup. And now we're not going to use all of this because it says some of this add the half the marshmallow to the bowl of the pudding. And then we're going to stir that. So yes, there's a lot left over. And that is okay. We are using all of this. So, what do you what do you guys think? That's about a third of the way for these. Oops, some of these might be a little ugly. Got some on the sides, but it's okay. We're gonna eat that too. All right. So it says to top each cup with a small layer of graham cracker crumbs. There you are. Open it. All right. So let's take a peek in here. Ooh, ooh. very nice. Come on, focus. So we're going to pour about a tablespoon, tablespoon, let me pull out this measuring cup again, alright, and this is a teaspoon, this is a teaspoon, so just a little, hmm, let's do it this way. We could do a little more with that. We'll have to be stingy with the graham crackers, right? Mmm. Let's see every side. I want to get all of this covered. And we could do that too. All right. Let's do one. Let's do this one here. Just scooping it out. All right. 
Sorry if I'm going in and out of focus here. Ooh, these are gonna be good. Let's see. Let's put our finished ones here. All right. I'm gonna do the rest of these and we'll see how they look. All right, so there we have it. And for all of you who are probably like, you ding dong. Yes, I reread the instructions and it says that I'm supposed to tap it on the outside as you see here and not as you see here. So I guess there's not supposed to be some in the middle, but you know what? No one's gonna see those two, we're gonna eat them anyways. So it says we're gonna put these in the fridge for about five minutes. So let's do that and we'll be back. All right, so I've just pulled them out of the fridge and then I put the mess ups in the back. Don't look at those. But um, here we have them. And it says that our next step, let's move this out the way. So that way it can still be seen. We need our marshmallows. And we need our remaining chocolate pudding. All right. It says that we're going to pour half of these bad boys into there. So let's do it. Um... Okay, I just poke a little hole in the corner here. All right. All right, come on out. You know, speaking of marshmallows, did you guys know that they sell, um, like, you know, when you have your hot cocoa? And it has the uh, mini marshmallows in it. Well, they also, they have a container. That's about half. They have a container that is just the marshmallows. So, if you like extra marshmallows like me, and they just don't put enough in that pouch, or perhaps it just melted too quick. You didn't get to enjoy your marshmallowness. Mm, boy, look at that. That looks amazing. Chocolate pudding. I I'd like to know what you guys' favorite uh pudding is too. If you want to go in the comment section and let me know. Um, I don't mind chocolate pudding, of course. I would say I like I love pistachio pudding there we go cuz I'm a little different I think we could fit some more marshmallows in here what do you guys think we just need press remaining marshmallows sort of like a little topper there a garnish almost for the end I mean, but doesn't need it. I mean, it has so many marshmallows already. Let's get a little more out. All right. I'm already breaking the rules, right? <laughs> nope. Let's follow the rules. All right. So we'll make sure all of these are covered in chocolate. You know what this reminds me of? You remember on all that, they used to have cooking with Randy and Mandy. And these two would just throw ketchup, or not ketchup, um, chocolate on anything. Anything. It was even disgusting to one point. Um, they, they went a little bit too far with some stuff. Get back in there. Where do you think you're going? Alright, so our marshmallows all seem to be coated. Let me look at the picture. There it is. That's the layer we're doing. 
All right, so we'll just. Uh huh. Refrigerator and top with the remaining pudding. Okay, let's do that. Just a little bit at a time at first. Get off of my spoon. There we go. How's that? If we have more, we'll come back. All right. So this one seems, um, I like this one. This seems a little more, it seems easy and um, quicker. And it's a bit more fun than the unicorn jello that I had done, um, that I did. So, with the jello, you know, I had to wait for it to cool down and then put it back in the fridge because I had to do the other layer. And this one, it was just so much easier because, I mean, the pudding was pretty much done. I had, what, a five-minute wait time? So... This one is my favorite so far. Having a hard time coming off of my spoon here. There we go. There we go. And two more and I think we're going to think we're going to have some extra you guys. Look at that. Get off the spoon. It's okay. We'll grab more. So, look at that. Let me see. Yeah, they're kind of filled to the... Kind of filled to the top of the cup. So, it is going to take the rest of this. We'll be back when it's prettier. Ta-da! See, and now you can't tell which ones were messed up with the crumbles in the middle. Can ya? Can ya? Huh? Huh? No. Yeah, I can't. Um, it looks a little odd. It doesn't look like that. They definitely have more pudding. But, um... I don't know, you guys. It looks pretty good to me. So we're supposed to take some more of these marshmallows. And we're just going to garnish them on top. Remaining marshmallows as desired. Bloop, bloop. 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 Yeah, I know. I'd put a different amount on there. Want to fight about it? <laughs> no, let's not do that. Let's give that one four as well. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, very nice. What do you guys think? Now, we just sprinkle. I'm just going to take my hand and just sprinkle the crumbs. Beautiful. You know what? I'm rather pleased with these. Ha <laughs> that rhymes. I'm a poet and didn't know it. There we go. All right, I'm gonna do this last one. You guys can see up close. Here we go. Ta-da! Nailed it! All right, um, now here's an important thing I see at the bottom here. It says, P 
pudding will not set with non-dairy milk substitutes such as soy or almond. So you're going to want to use regular milk. I thought that I'd include that. I didn't see that till the end. Um, but you know, before you do the kit, that's definitely something you want to know. So don't use non-dairy milk substitutes. And um, it says we're done, you guys. We'll just put these marshmallows to the side. You could use them for something else. Throw them on some pancakes or something. I'm really pleased with these. What do you guys think? Let's look at the picture. See? Nailed it. <laughs> so, all right. Um, let's take a look at all of these. Um, let's try it. I mean, why not, right? Let's get my spoon. All right, let me. Let me move these out the way. Very nice. All right, now we have it right here. Center of attention. Let's make sure to get a little bit of everything. Let's get that pudding at the bottom. Get out of there. Look at that. Mmm. So, I always watch videos like this on YouTube. And when the person who's filming usually pulls the bite up and you see that spoon disappear behind the camera, it feels so good to know what it tastes like. To really, oh, oh man, to be on this side. Mm. You guys need to try this kit. Mmm. I'm going to eat it in front of you. Mmm. You know, the graham cracker is a perfect amount. Because I taste it in there, but I like that the marshmallows are mixed in the pudding. That it's coated in the pudding. Okay, I'm just going to mix this all up. And then you have some of the pudding by itself there. So we're just going to mix it all in. It's all going to be pudding and marshmallows. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That pudding is amazing. Um, I was a little worried. The last hit, the jello had too much gelatin in it for me and it ruined the flavor personally but this chocolate I cannot stress it you guys this was really fun to do and like I said they have more kits and another one that I will be doing here I think I mentioned already this is the celebration cake check that out so we'll be doing that one next time this one will just need butter and oil. So, and it also comes, you know, they all come with everything that you'll need. And it tells you what you'll need here. But it comes with the cups and and things like that. But this one doesn't need cups. This one's going to be a cake-like substance. So, there you have it. Layered S'mores by Crafty Cooking Kits. If you have not tried these yet, these are in the like baking section where you would probably get like your cookies. Okay, definitely by where you would get like your instant pudding. That's where I found mine. And there's a few more out there, so go on and click subscribe so you can stay in t um stay up to date. And you'll see when I release the next one. So thank you all for watching so much. Bye. Have a good day.